Like he knows who lined it, then it go back to the troll tribe of Israel, due to the scattering among the nations of the four corners of the earth. Alright, my heart calls for the great Muslim, watch the end of the camp, back in the middle of legends, and Abinah Rasadah, Lord will be edifying to the fear and power of Yahweh by Shal Shai, by Shal Kakadash, the Holy Spirit. Alright, now this is the blacklistennew.com. Turkey threatens to declare war on Israel. Alright, and that prophecy. Alright. All these, uh, now at the time, all right, this whole, um, Palestinian versus, uh, Israelis, there's like the perfect opportunity for all these nations to get involved, all right, which is going to be the build up, the, uh, leading up to World War Three. all right, which pops die in Revelation 11. What is that? Verse uh, 14. The second world comes. The second world is past, which was World War II, and the third world comes quickly. Alright, and we're in that time of the third world. The world is destruction. Alright. Which is prophecy for this to happen. Alright, Matthew 24 for the room of the war. Alright. Uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. So. These things are taking place for prophecy to be fulfilled. All right, that Turkey President Recap Recep Tayyip Erdogan stated that attack on Gaza amounted to a massacre and threatened to declare war on Israel. All right, in an ardent address. At a pro Palestine protest, this evening the president of Turkey seems to have threatened to intervene in Gaza. And during his speech at a rally this afternoon, all right, Erdogan, Erdogan accused Israel of war crimes and presented Hamas as freedom fighters. All right, President er uh, Erdogan. Stated that attack on Gaza amounted to a massacre which infuriated Israel and caused it to rethink its diplomatic mission. He is claimed to have told the hundreds of thousands of participants that Turkey can come at any night unexpectedly during the same speech. The video, which went viral on the front Twitter platform X, allegedly showed. The pro Palestine demonstrated yelling Turkish military to Gaza. Alright. So things are definitely playing in the direction of a uh, war. Alright. It's the. Uh, let's see. I gotta read the rest of this. Let's get the scripture. Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, or so the other nations, all right, the heathen nation, and we're proclaiming the prophecies that they're going to go to war, all right, and the Lord, how about now, trying to uh, judge them, all right, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, let's get the judge the nation, okay. If they prepare war, wake up the mighty men with the soldiers. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat their plowshare into score. All right. Basically, uh, working industrial into uh, building up the army. All right. And your pruning hook into fear. Let the wheat they I am strong because all these nations were, 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 were once weak nations. All right. Turkey could have stayed at 20, 30 years ago. Oh, we were going to uh, go to war with Israel, all right? The United States would have been there 
all right, the next day bombing the shit out of them, all right? But now, all the country now have nuclear capability missiles, all right? At the BM, which is all property as well, all right? Assemble your stuff and come all your heathen and gather yourself together round about to the call thy mighty one to come down, O Lord. And how about now, Shah? Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, right? The Hebrew word for that is Yahweh Shapat, the name of the Most High, all right? And Shapat is judgment, okay? For there where I did to judge all the heathen round about, all right? And you're going to send his son, how shall I do it? You're going to take an edge chapter 13, he's going to come in the midst of World War Three and destroy all the nations, all right? Let's destroy them all. All right, uh, let me get go back pedal a little bit. Verse eleven, tell me yourself. And come all you heathen and gather yourself together round right about to the kind of thy mighty one to come down, O Lord your Hobbit on the side. Now let's go to Ezekiel thirty eight. Ezekiel thirty eight, verse eleven. Alright, and the word of the Lord your Hobbit on the side came unto me saying Son of man, set thy faith against God, the land of Magog, the sheep prince of Meshach and Tabal, and prophesy against him, all right, which is Russia, and say thus, say the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O God, the sheep prince of Meshach and Tabal, and I will turn thee back into the, all right, I got this picture real quick, let's see if I can pull it up. All right, this is Russia. We check in the ball, okay? All right. It's the um. Uh, and Lola, I'm gonna do a video on on the ancient map, so I can. So we're in that time to where. All these uh, names that you see, all right, that's necessarily uh, are not used in today's. So you gotta know where these names geographically at, because that's where whoever's dwelling there now, that's who the one that's involved in the property now. All right, now back to uh, verse four, and I will turn thee back and put. Hook into thy jaw, and I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckler and shield, all of them handling four. That's the military. Persia, which we know that's Iran, all right? That's their ancient name. Ethiopia, all right, which is uh, basically the son of Kush. All right, and Libya, which are the son of Put, with them, all of them, with shield and helmet. All right, Gomer, and all his band. Now Gomer, what country is that? Basically, Eastern Europe. All right, uh, Germany, Romania, look like. All right, let's get to the point. The house of To or Tog Ama of the North Quarter and all his men and many people with thee. All right, so Turkey have a place in that because To or Ma, Tog Ama is Turkey. All right, see that? Turkey, today Turkey. All right, so there they have a major role in, uh, in property as well. All right, which was... Gomer and Togomar was uh, one land of uh, the son of Japheth, okay? Or occupied by Japheth, all right? And then they got pushed out by the Edomites, all right? Togomar. To 
safety. So the Gomer grant them a drop it. Alright. Uh, probably the area known as Armenia. Alright, so Armenia, Turkey is in that proximity of that area. Alright. But we know it's mainly Turkey. Okay. So Turkey, that's why Turkey is saying this. Alright. Threat and declare war in Israel because they have, they fit in our property. Alright. This, Ezekiel 38, is the, is the build up to World War III. Alright. Is that verse 7 be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled to thee, right? Because Russia is the head of of all this, all right? They're going to back up Iran, all right? Africa, uh, and Turkey as well. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them, all right? And that's going to lead up to World War Three. okay? Let's go back to Joel. Joel 3. All right, let's go. Back up to verse two. No, I ain't gotta do that. All right. Verse thirteen. Draw three and thirteen. Put you in the thickle. All right. This could be after World War Three. Right. We ain't really gotta read that. All right. Just reading up the fact that they're going to war. All right. Because it's the time. It's the time of war that we're in. All right. The prophecy date. Matthew 24, and the only thing that happened was how the child returned. And in verse 6, and you shall hear a word and rumors of war, all right? Rumors in the Greek is report. And this is absolutely a report that's going out, okay? And after returning our watch, to see what's going on, to filter to the scripture, to see what time we're in, property wise, all right? Take it to chapter 9, that measure the time diligently in itself. When we see start, uh, part of the third path, then you know what's going on. All right? If the see that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. It's required. But the end is not, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, that's what's going on right now. And kingdom against kingdom, and that's what's going on uh, as well. Okay? And there shall be famine. And pestilences, and earthquake, and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. All right, and that's the time we're in. Just had a big old earthquake in uh, what country was that? Yeah, I want to say India, and I'm mistaken. But yeah, so that's where we at with it. So with that, shalom.